The answer lies in the heart of battle. King of Iron Fist Tournament. You get TV versus Corner. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Hey guys, it's Moogan Lore here, and we're back again with some more uh, post Evo 2019 announcements from our favorite fighting games. And this time, we finished all the announcements from Arc System Works. Now we want to move on to Bondi Namco. Now, Bondi Namco has really, really been doing their thing, man, as far as Tekken is concerned. And a lot of fans are loving um, Tekken 7. Some people will argue that it's one of the greatest Tekkens besides Tekken 3. And um, it looks like it's really showing here. It's because they announced that there's going to be a new season, season three. And they revealed um, two characters. And we want to start off with these characters in a bit. But I must say that Tekken is really growing as far as uh, the fan base is concerned. The community is getting even bigger. And, and I, I guess you could say it's finally catching up to Street Fighter in a sense. Because Tekken 7 had a big, big turnout as far as entrance is concerned. And I'm really proud um, to see Harad and his team hard work is finally paying it off when it comes to uh, Tekken, you know, versus Street Fighter and everything. So we're going to move on, though. Let's move on. So the character that was announced for the season pass um, for season three, the first character is Salfina. Salfina came from, I believe, Tekken 6, if I can remember. Because that's during the time I had got back into Tekken, it was Tekken 6. And um, it looks like that. Um, from I guess from what I read uh, she's been affected by the devil gene I believe so she has this crazy hand <laughs> and when she combos I just love the animations to her combos she's already she already had an unorthodox uh, fighting style um, to her and it looks like in this game especially with the improvements and next you know with the next gen graphics the next gen engine and everything like that you can see how expressive um, that this character is. She always been expressive, but now seeing it, her in Tekken uh, 7, it look, she's just even more expressive. And I must say that she's a beautiful character. She's very beautiful, but she's one of those annoying characters that I, I hate in fighting games because she's just all over the place the way she moves, trying to figure out if she's going to attack from the low, she's going to attack from mid, she's going to attack from high, and how she just maneuvers around the way that she does. Now, if I can, if now, if I can if i'm familiar with this that is that hand from Ezel the the uh the boss from final i said from final the boss from um tekken 6 the final boss i believe but it looks as when you look at her special and then even in her victory that she's trying to hold back her rage trying to hold back from slaying um her opponents so it looks like that's going to play a major part in the character's story and everything which i found interesting is it is definitely an interesting um twist to the character i didn't expect that to happen to her even though i, I haven't really followed her backstory as far as her ending was concerned in tekken um six i believe it was but um we're gonna move on to the next character now this character really has me laughing it has me cracking up and it seems like in now in today's society where we want to um try to be a diverse as possible when it comes to our cast and we want to represent as much people as possible from different ethnic groups and stuff but i just find this character funny we have another um black or african-american fighter and his name is leroy smith <laughs> his name is leroy smith you can't get any more stereotypical than this like this character name has me cracking up it reminds me of a character from a black exploitation um a uh, movie back in their like the early 70s to the 80s and i just find it kind of funny i don't find it offensive i just find it funny uh that they decided to go with that name leroy smith and his backstory i believe 50 years ago uh his family was killed in a new york uh a gang and everything so you know that right there to itself and then what happens is he leaves and he pretty much studied the you know martial arts and become a martial arts masters and now he's coming back to New York for his revenge and that sounds like a, a typical uh, 70s martial arts or an 80s black exploitation um, film and I think it's, it's pretty funny but that name though of, of is just the name Leroy Smith and the thing is you know the funny part he looked like a Leroy he looked like he looked like a relative and in fact now that I'm looking at the character he look, kind of looked like my dad a little bit <laughs> he got the dreadlocks but his dreadlocks is, is super is like really really gray and he has my dad's like jawline and he has he has his mouth uh area and everything it's just really funny but it looks like he may have a, uh, a sick move set and it looks like he's uh, a wing chun fighter and then, i mean i'm not really sure of all the martial arts styles in tekken 7 
um, by hand or from memory, but I'm not sure. But I believe that he may be the first um, Wing Chun um, fighter. So that's pretty cool. So he's using Wing Chun. You see him fighting Law, and you see him fighting a couple other characters in his cutscenes and everything. So I think that's gonna be pretty cool. I can't wait to see how this character is gonna play out. But just like I said before, just Leroy Smith. That name, Leroy Smith, and he, the, the, fun, the funny thing is, he looks like a Leroy, and then at the same time, he looks like my dad, <laughs> which I found pretty funny. And also, he has a uh, he has he's wearing shades now. From the look of the shades, and if you look at the uh, uh, since it's their tenant, but you can somewhat see that it's something up with his eyes. His eyes like it's missing, like it's missing pupils or something like that. So maybe his eyes may play important role to his story or he may have some hidden powers and everything because he has scars around his eyes and everything the look if you look deeply uh, into the character portrait and the character himself and everything so i'm very curious to see what they're what they're going to do with this character and when they actually show off his actual actual gameplay and, and hopefully he's a unique fighter i'm look, really looking forward to it the more fighters and tekken the better and it seemed like tekken 7 is handling new fighters way better than their, than Street Fighter Five is handling their new fighters. I don't know it's something about their new Street Fighters. Uh, new fighters seem they don't seem as uh, they seem more generic compared to how Tekken Seven is pretty much handling their new characters. So kudos uh, to Harada's team with Tekken Seven and the season pass three. And I'm looking forward to what other characters they're going to have. Um, they going to return. Are we gonna get some more veteran characters, or are we gonna get some more? Uh, original characters um, added to the Tekken on lore and what do you think about uh, Tekken 7 and the new character um, that was revealed um, in this um, new update for the season pass I definitely want to hear what characters you like to see return or do you want to see some more original characters and then if you uh, want to see more original characters I definitely want to know what fighting style would you like to see the, the new original character have uh, would, you, would you want it to be a male or female um, character um, that, that be introduced as a new next original character for Tekken 7 because I know that Harada and their team are not finished um, with adding more um, original characters um, to their lineup so I definitely want to hear your thoughts on that but we want to move on to the next topic I definitely want to talk about and discuss and that's pretty much a Soul Calibur um, 6 now Soul Calibur 6 is getting another um, update a new season pass and they're gonna be introducing some new characters as well and we got um, a hint and we got some gameplay of uh, Cassandra and everyone is pretty much uh, speculating that Cassandra was going to be coming um, to um, Soul Calibur 6 and it was only a matter of time he's going to announce the characters and like I said when they, we did this in the previous video when it comes to leaks and rumors and how it can sometimes be beneficial to the community or how sometimes it can be de detrimental to the community like how it can spoil hype and everything for these characters but this character has also been talked about and it looks like we're going to be getting some uh, new custom customization features we're going to be getting some um, new balance balances added to the game and we of course we're getting Cassandra and of course in typical Bondi Nanko fashion we're definitely going to get another guest character and that's uh ha ha Maru from Samurai Showdown and to me I think that's a pretty cool choice but at the same time I mean we already have Mitsurugi and I know his moveset is going to definitely be different from Mitsurugi so don't don't twist that up don't hit me in the comment section saying dude they're not they're not the same just that you ever know I'm just saying we already got a samurai fighter but um, I know his moveset is going to be pretty unique is because like like most third party characters um, uh, Bandit Bandit Namco does a very good job um, of taking those fighters from their games and implementing them pretty well into uh, into their games so seeing his seeing how his projectiles work and everything and I can't wait to see how his critical hits and if the blood is going to splurt from the characters when he hit them a certain way, I wonder if they're going to do it that way. But it was only a teaser. Um, but everybody expected that this character was going to be revealed as well because an yet again, another um, rumor or leak was going around about that as well. So I was kind of waiting for that announcement um, for that announcement to happen. And it seemed like the fans um, from the reaction, everybody was um, hype and everybody's looking forward to that. So what if the fans love it and the fans want more guest characters i guess that's, that's a good thing as long as, the, as long as the fans um want it and as long as um we still get our veteran tekken characters and as long as we still get some more original characters and it doesn't get in the way of that i think that's 
um, pretty cool. So I'm definitely looking forward to, I guess they were saying early 2020, I believe that this announcement for um, new characters is going to happen for Soul Calibur. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I definitely want to hear your thoughts because Tekken, and like I said, Bonnie Namco is really knocking out of the park uh, with Tekken 7. And of course, with their Soul Calibur, and it's, I'm glad to see that Soul Calibur has returned. I mean, Soul Calibur was really in a dark place at one point, especially after the results of uh, Soul Calibur 5 and the series had pretty much took a hiatus and everything. And now it, it finally returned. And I think that Soul Calibur is going to be here for a very, very long time. So welcome back, Soul Calibur. You're here for another season and I really appreciate it. And I'm definitely going to get back into some Soul Calibur as well um, in the fall. So I definitely want to hear your thoughts on the, these new characters um, being added to Tekken 7 and of course, Soul Calibur um, 6, bro. Oh my God. Leroy Smith, <laughs> that name, boy. <laughs> but I'm definitely looking forward to that character and everything. So if you like the video, please subscribe. And also, if you want to be notified for more information on Tekken 7 or even Soul Calibur 6, hit that bell to be notified in the future. This is Mugen Lord signing off. See you, Game Fiends, later. Peace out. It looks like he reached the end of the video. Well, while you're at it, check out some of my other discussion videos by clicking on the annotations below. And don't forget to follow me on other social media platforms to stay up to date with future content. Signing off.